Hi, my name is Chris, and today I'd like to show you how to install BitMessage on Ubuntu. Click that dash button and type in terminal, and start a terminal. First, we're going to install some dependencies. We're going to type in the command sudo apt git install python open ssl git python qt4. Click enter put in your password, and it'll download the packages. I've already got them, so it did nothing. I'm going to clear my terminal. I'm going to make sure I'm in my home directory by doing cd with enter. I can do ls to see the files in this directory. Yep, I'm there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is download the pi bit message program from GitHub. I'm going to do this using another command, git clone https colon slash slash github dot com slash bit message slash pi bit message and note the capitalization it's case sensitive alright my files are downloaded from github this is the source code for pi bit message if I do an ls I can see the folder pi bit message let's change directory into pi bit message do another ls and there's a bunch of files we want to go to the source directory with another cd source list there's one program in here we want to run, which is the main program. It's bitmessage main.py. And now bitmessage starts. This terminal you can ignore because it gives you a graphic user interface. Now I'm going to show you how to create a bitmessage launcher in your dock. And also get rid of this terminal with all the output that isn't helpful if you're not a developer. I'm going to go up one directory and list. Here we see a desktop directory. Let's go there and list. There's a file here, pybitmessage.desktop, and some icons. Let's open the pybitmessage.desktop using get it. This is a desktop file, which is basically what all these launcher icons are. There's an important line in this file, the exec line. This is the command that is run when you click one of these launchers. We're going to change this exec line to point to the bitmessage Python file. We're going to give it an absolute path. It's in home, followed by my username, which is bitmessage test, a user I created just for this video, then pi bitmessage, then source, then bitmessage main.py and we don't need that percent %f the icon is going to be similar the icon file is in home bitmessage test pi bitmessage desktop can icon.svg if you're doing this yourself make sure you change the username to match your username your username shows up in the terminal before the at sign all right, that looks good. Now we'll save that and close. Now we want to drag this pybitmessage.desktop file onto our panel. To do that, I'm going to open Nautilus with a period with a period right after saying open Nautilus in this directory. There we go. Let's drag this desktop file onto the panel. There we go. Let's move it up there. Now when we click it, it opens up bitmessage. And it's ready to go. Okay, let's go over to the Identities tab and make a new identity. We're going to use the default settings here and type in a label. I'm going to put in Chris because I'm the only one that sees this. I'm going to push OK. Now my new address is being generated. From here, I can right click and do Copy Address to Clipboard. Now I could give this address to my friend, and my friend will be able to send me messages through BitMessage. Let's say we just got our friend's BitMessage address. Let's enter it into the address book. We'll go to add new entry. We'll give it the label Bob and we'll type in his address. Now we'll hit OK. We've got Bob in our address book so we can go over to the send tab and we want to send one or more person a message. Yep. We can choose a identity to send from. We've only got one at the moment. We'll load in Bob's address from the address book by right clicking and do sending message to this address. The subject, whatever we want. 
There we go, a uh, perfect message. Down here we can choose the time to live. This is helpful if Bob doesn't open BitMessage every day. The network will hold on to the encrypted message and deliver it the next time Bob opens BitMessage. Let's put it at the max 28 days because Bob doesn't log on very much. We'll click send. Down at the bottom it, it uh, gives a status of the message progress. The message is being broadcasted to the network. Okay, that's all fine and good. Bob will get the message eventually. I hope that helps. Have a great day.